Hello all, Project Wargaming here with an update on a project that I've been working on. So I kind of went down a rabbit hole the last couple of weeks and um, I started thinking about some armatures for some trees. Um, what got me started thinking on this was someone made a comment on the, one of the YouTube videos that they're um, on the Italian villa, there needed to be some cedar trees, which they were right. And I tried to do that by using this little thing that I just got from... Uh, Hobby Lobby and cut off and stuck in the ground, but uh, obviously not terribly satisfactory. So I went back in and I thought, well, maybe I can just design one 3D and print it. And so this is what I came up with, uh, just a simple little uh, shape for a cedar tree. And then the idea is you go back in and you put some flock over top of it. You can obviously scale it to different sizes. Um, I find that they print extremely easily and uh, print up really fast. So there's no other, uh, issue there and you can get like a ton of them on your plant plate. So, you know, just massive amounts of them. But then I started thinking about some other pine trees. And so my first forays into that was these designs. So you can see, uh, you know, this one's, well, both of them are a little too uh, Dr. Seuss-ish, uh, uh, Whoville, um, Grinch who stole Christmas kind of thing. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I, I did them, but I don't really care for them even when they're flocked. So, um, moved on and started to the next one I, I looked at was actually kind of designing it so that it is, uh, actually has the branches and stuff. And I really liked how these have turned out, um, Kind of hard to see because they're so small, but again, you can scale them up, but that's the same uh, armature. This one's been flocked. This one's just been painted. Um, so, you know, not too bad. Um, happy with that result. Uh, I went back in and then I made another one here. Uh, you can see uh, another armature. This one has obviously got less um, the limbs on it. Um, but it holds paint really well and it holds the flock also. Um, then they have these trees over in Italy called umbrella trees. I don't know if you've ever seen those or been driving through Rome and looks, looked up to see them. But uh, so I thought, well, I'll try to make some umbrella trees. Might be a nice little touch to add here or there. And so that's what I came up with was just a simple little armature underneath. Um, again, I just print these straight up and down and they are... Uh, supported so you know uh, there's almost as much some <laughs> material in the support as there is in these little models but they they work really well and then i've been messing around with the uh, kind of northern pine tree i guess or classic pine tree that we've been thinking about um closer but still not there it's it's not horrid um, i had to go in and kind of brush some of this off to get it to have a little bit of detail coming in you can almost just paint this straight away and it looks pretty good from straight on like that it doesn't look very good but uh, standing like this looks pretty good so um so i'm gonna mess around with this one a little bit more probably do a little bit less of this just to give uh it, the flock a chance to kind of undulate in and out of different openings and holes and stuff but you know again this is just printed straight up and down on the print plate and it prints off pretty easily. So that's uh, that's what I've been working on. Um, just a little rabbit hole, I guess. Kind of got focused on that. I wanna do some deciduous trees cause I'm tired of paying for uh, uh, deciduous tree armatures, particularly because I'm probably gonna do some winter boards in the future. And I wanna be able to print off a bunch of those where I can just spray paint them brown or gray and just not flock them at all. Um, so that it looks like uh, they've lost their leaves for the winter. So anyways, that's it. We'll talk to you later.